Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Welcome. So today's video is sponsored by Keen and I wanna tell you all about them. So I hear from you guys on a pretty regular basis, reaching out for readings, asking about my availability. And if I have a quick turnaround time, am I available that day, the next day, the next 24 hours? Because you guys have concerns that are time sensitive that you could use a little guidance around. Unfortunately, I do not have that quick of a turnaround time and that is where Keen comes in. So Keen is a whole database of different psychics with different specialties. And when you log on, they'll ask you some questions and then based on your answers, they give you a short list list of psychics that they think are the best match for you. So I said, okay, Keen, like, let me try this out. So I went on there and I spoke to two different psychics because I like to be thorough. And I have to tell you, I was really impressed for two main reasons. So number one, the accuracy and the detail, okay, was incredibly impressive. And number two was the turnaround time. One of them got back to me like the next day. And then the second one was in the same hour which trust me, doing what I do, that is incredibly impressive. So I said, all right, Keen, let's do this. What are you gonna offer my subscribers then? And they said, okay, well, let's give them the first 10 minutes for $1.99. So if you are a first time Keen user, your first 10 minutes is $1.99, which is a really, really good deal. So all of that information is in well is in the description box below. You can click on that link get you your deal, get it going. And with that being said, I would say in terms of choosing an intuitive on Keen for your questions, as in all things, call upon your intuition. Use your intuition to guide you as to which intuitive is the best fit for your given question. And then let me know how it goes. Okay, I wanna know how your readings go. <laughs> Definitely let me know. Um, and with that being said, just yeah, blessings to you guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. You enjoy Keen and give me a holler about it. Be well. Hey Virgos, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're gonna be taking a look at what you have to look forward to in 2022. A little bit of good news for y'all. So let's see what your animal energy is. For 20, oh, oh, Virgo, I know y'all are going to appreciate this now. We got a bit of dragonfly energy here for you, which equates to the Ace of Swords, which is about clarity, the truth, and nothing but the truth. It's, it's such a beautiful, beautiful energy. I really have a strong affinity for this. So um, how this comes into play, uh, specifically with dragonfly medicine, is about gleaning insight from your dream time right? This is that beautiful, elusive feeling of, you know, that saying, uh, sleep on it. That's kind of similar to this energy where it's, it's that beautiful, elusive experience of like going to bed, not knowing the answer to something and then waking up and just knowing what it is. It's that bridge between the subconscious and the, and the conscious state where you're like, oh, I know exactly what to do. So I feel like another way of looking at this and saying this is like, there's going to be a distinct lack of analysis paralysis available to you this year, which I know you're going to be happy to hear as Virgos. Um, and you're going to have a lot of clarity and insight available to you, which is really, really beautiful. Let's see what else is going on. I came out and I'm like, oh man, if Virgos are going to like a preach. Oh, oh, you are not ready for this. You just got Ace of Swords. We were just, you got Ace of Swords twice. Virgo. <laughs> I'm so here for this. Ace of Swords twice. So we were just talking about this. This is that clarity, the truth. This is also like writing really well, uh, written communication, uh, contracts, opportunities, leases, um, mortgages, job opportunity, you know, like a uh, contract written letters. This is really, really beautiful. Really, 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 really beautiful. Um, You could also be working something that you're writing or kind of compiling together as well. But this is that truth. This is that inner compass that I know exactly what to do. You know, Panda Medicine, kind of the, the tagline for um, Panda Medicine is uh, in stillness. Am I going to butcher this? in stillness lie the answers or in, in the stillness there are answers right you get the point like so this is really about taking the time to really just be still be quiet to sit in the not knowing and then in accepting that accepting that you may not always know exactly the immediate answer the way forward first accepting that right accepting that and in accepting that in being still, the answer is arriving to you. 
right? The answers lie in the stillness. That's what this is. It's so beautiful. But also panda medicine is also very contented medicine as well. Just happy to be there and chew on the bamboo. And I feel like that's a beautiful medicine for you guys this year is about really appreciating the downtime, appreciating that sometimes you are truly more productive by doing less. And that is such a gift for you guys, Virgo. I love it. Oh God, double ace of swords. Live. Oh God, yes. Okay, abundance. This reading is giving me life. Um, uh, abundance, flowers, success, happiness. You know, I feel like there's a distinct call. Well, first of all, we were talking about, you know, um, the, the answers lying in the stillness, right? But another way of looking at that is like stopping to smell the roses and in doing so. Like, and then you have all these flowers here. Uh, abundance, clarity, truth, communication, visualization, um, you know, getting it right in terms of like what you commit to because Ace of Swords is very much about, like I said, contracts or written agreements. It, it feels like you're going to be in a place where you are being offered things that upgrade you from where you are in one way or another, whether that's work, relationship, mortgage, home, promotion, you know, whatever that is. But this is really Virgo. You guys are what? I think in the last quarter of the readings that I'm doing for this round, and it's all about the good news and what you had to look forward to, but this like blatantly, like is so overtly like good news, great news, like nothing to, you know what I mean? Like this is like the most overtly positive reading that I've had for this entire round. And I'm, I want you guys to really receive and hear me say that because that is what it is. So I am so excited for you guys. You know, I'm also, the fact that this is abundance and all these flowers are here and then you have the butterflies, I feel like some of this abundance is going to be the result of work that you've already put in previously. So you're going to be seeing the returns on relationships you made some time ago, on work that you put on on something that maybe, you know, didn't come to fruition at first, but now is coming back around. Connections that are bearing fruit, work that's bearing fruit, things that you started are now going to be able to come to a happy completion, right? Things like that. Feels like that with abundance, okay? You better work it out, Virgo. With that being said, I'm not worried about you for 2022, but I hope that this gave you a little extra excitement going into this new year. And with that being said, please holler at me in the comments, okay? I love reading your comments. Tell me how you're feeling about this, like, double ace of swords abundance reading. Um, I would like to know. I love reading your comments. And with that being said, I'm trying to get better about asking you guys to like, share, and subscribe me. So please like, share, and subscribe me. I would so appreciate that. And with that being said, just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. And most of all, and as always, just thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.